Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to St. Vincent's. I'm Father Andrew, uh, parish priest here at St. Vincent's, and we're going to be talking about an interesting topic this evening on the second of our newscast live. Um, I've got to mute something over here. So I was listening to myself in a browser there, which is very disconcerting. <laughs> Okay, we're going to be thinking this evening about something that uh, I think is close to everybody's hearts, and that is Christmas and Advent, or Advent and Christmas in that uh, particular order. Um, I feel a little bit like a, uh, a big supermarket chain here, where we've just got past Guy Fawkes and the first All Saints and All Souls, and we're already talking about advent and christmas but i think it's uh, an important topic because in the busyness of everything that happens between now and christmas time it's important that we make our minds up decide consciously decide what we want to do as family and as a parish as a community we need to decide what we want to do so that that can fit into our schedules around and about. We recently had um, some people here from Bethlehem and they brought with them a lot of olive wood carvings and I was fortunate to get a little one of those carvings which depicts the Holy Family on the journey to Bethlehem. We call this traditionally shelter seeking and I think that's a great image for us now and as we move forward to this very dark but very busy time um, of our Mary and Joseph with their little child going to find a place in our homes and in our hearts or will we be too caught up in everything that's going on around and about us to do much about that preparation. So how are we going to prepare in the parish and what do we offer so you can prepare at home? We're going to round off the year um, with our youth mass on the feast of Christ the King, which is coming up on the 25th of November. Now, over the past years, we've given our young people an advent calendar. Um, with the usual chocolate in it and open the doors from the 1st through till the 25th of December and each day you make that step. We're going to give a calendar of a little bit of a different kind this year because we're going to be focusing on a different calendar. It's called the Jesse Tree. Uh, it's an old tr Christian tradition and it was a way of the early church helping people to understand as they decorated their Christmas trees what they were preparing for. And if we think about Jesse, Jesse was the father of King David. He was of the tribe of Judah. And Jesse is mentioned in Luke and Matthew's Gospel as the first person in the genealogy of Jesus. And as we decorate the Jesse tree through these Advent days, each day another biblical figure, another person on the step towards Christ is shown to us and given to us an example. Noah and his ark with the symbol of the rainbow, Jacob and his ladder going up to heaven, all kinds of symbols that help us follow that journey until we arrive at the coming of Christ. On Sunday then, I'm going to give all our young people, on the Sunday the 25th, the Christ the King, a little pack where you can do your own Jesse tree at home. So we'll do it in the parish. So Sunday for Sunday, you'll see the tree being decorated and becoming fuller and fuller as we journey on, on our Advent journey, as well as the Advent wreath. This tree will be filled and decorated with all the symbols. If anyone wishes to have one of these packs, they can get in touch with me and I'll make sure that you get one. Okay, that's the first step we're taking on our Advent journey and also one of the things we're offering for you to follow up on in your own home on the way to Christmas. 
But what are we going to be thinking about or meditating about during this Christmas and Advent season? We're going to be thinking about that journey of Jesse, that journey through the genealogy, that preparation of the way. We know the big story of John the Baptist's way, who heralds the way in the wilderness. And we're going to be doing that in different ways, as I say, through our Jesse tree in the church, but also if you follow us uh, on YouTube, you can watch Mass uh, on Fridays and Sundays, and on Fridays especially, we will be having a little bit of a longer input, a longer meditation on this story and journey of Jesse. Now, you can follow that live, as I say, but not everyone's available at nine o'clock on a Friday morning. So you can follow that up as well on our YouTube channel. Uh, we'll also be each day publishing on Facebook, our Facebook page at St. Vincent's Bolton, uh, a little text from St. Vincent de Paul, which will journey with us as we prepare for the coming of Christ. Now, if you want to do a little bit more beyond the Jesse tree, beyond these little daily inputs, you can get online and find this lovely little book, Christmas and Advent, or Advent and Christmas with St. Vincent de Paul, and we'll be following those meditations all the way through the Advent season. If we move on now, not just our Jesse uh, tree, not just our Advent wreath and our Advent meditations, but we've got different events coming up uh, on our way through to Advent. I've got f too many things on the on the screen here at once. Let me just tap these off. First of all, we've got, of course, our Christmas fair coming up. Um, that's on the 2nd of December, and you'll find out in the newsletter all the things we need for the tombola bottles, fancy goods, stuff for the raffle. We don't usually have bric-a-brac or books, but please do come along. Please do share some time. It's great to get together. It's great to be God's family in this time of preparation. We also last year started a lovely thing which was a nativity, a guided nativity with the children. That will be on Thursday the 13th of De December at 6 p.m. in the evening. Also as a community of Overholton, we have our carols on the car park. That this year will be on Monday the 17th of December at 6.30 p.m. Lots to think about, lots to make, I think, conscious decisions about as we journey towards uh, Christmas together and through Advent. You can join us live on YouTube. You can come and visit us on Facebook where we'll have all the information you need to build your own Jesse tree, to watch us and join us live on YouTube or follow the meditations on Facebook. If you want or need any further information, you can go across to our website. All this information, all the links that you need, you can find there. So make a conscious decision. Uh, we're coming up to this incredible time of year and of course the shops are all full and the carols and the Christmas songs are blasted out above the tannoys. It's easy to get blasé, it's easy to get a little bit drawn back from it, but we are preparing for a great event and there's lots of ways you can do that. Please do join us and please do send us a line if you need something or if we can do something for you. Please come and visit us and join in our preparation for Christmas. So wishing you all a great preparation and we'll see you next week for more news.